Okay, where is that last page? Billy Jean is not my love. There it is. <laughs> Based. What are you looking at? Where the fuck are you supposed to be? I'm gonna fucking beat your ass up, dude. You do not know for what you have called. Oh fuck, it's a <sighs> Oh, thank fuck. I'm safe. Wait, did you think I was uh, scared because it was a monster? <laughs> nah, I was scared because it was a woman. What it do everybody, say the spooky guy Jin here and believe it or not, the year is almost over and I haven't fucking killed myself yet. And now that's an accomplishment. That of course means that I haven't fallen into a deep enough hole to drown any kind of depression one could feel and that it's that time of the year again where I start to hate the western world more than I probably should. This is mostly due to us being stuck in a perpetual loop where year after year Christmas stuff is already being sold weeks or months prior to the actual fucking holiday and Mariah's All I Want for Christmas is used to auditorily waterboard us like it's some sort of CIA op. Please, please stop, I'll talk. Ah! Oh boy, is it Christmas already? <laughs> no, silly. It's the spooky season. I should really just pull that fucking trigger. And you should definitely pull that finger out of your nose and hit that subscribe button. And then disinfect your finger and your keyboard and your mouse. Halloween. The magical time of the year where parents have to double check their children's candy for razor blades, women start to ovulate over serial killers and horror movies, and all the cool kids are going to costume parties that I'm never invited to. I wonder why. Could it be my sparkling personality that was carefully crafted by listening to emo music back in 2007? Sweat chips in my eyes. Or is it because I have no friends whatsoever or the social skills of a fucking plane hitting a tower? At this point, I don't even know anymore, dude. What I do know, though, is that neither you, my dear viewer, nor I have a social life. And unlike my parents who actively ignore my existence, your parents don't even bother telling the truth anymore. When they're out with their friends and you come up in conversation, they don't say, Oh, you know, Jacob's been busy. You know, he tried to get that job that he always wished for and, uh, what? <laughs> no, they straight up tell people that you're dead because it's easier for them to say that their child's deceased than to admit that you're a fucking disgrace to the family for watching Lolly Hentai and sleep with a crusty ass body pillow. You're welcome. But what does that have to do with Halloween? Uh. I am glad you asked your little disappointment to your family. Well, Halloween is all about that scary stuff, right? No, I'm not talking about the whole lunchly mold situation or the fact that the US sent 8.7 billion dollars to Israel instead of helping its own citizens who got fucking obliterated by hurricanes. Although, both of these are pretty damn scary. No, I'm talking about something even more terrifying. Something on the level of schoolboy lover 9. It's the scary fact that I'm too old for Halloween. Nowadays, whenever I go up to a house, people either think that I'm going to rob them or they ask me weird questions. I, I don't get it. Did I like take a wrong turn in life somewhere? <laughs> Trick or treat! Oh, aren't you a little too old for this? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I I've been on the run for a while, but the, the cops haven't found me yet. <laughs> They're probably too busy with that whole Game Freak leak fiasco and they're trying to catch Typhlosion. <laughs> but you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And when someone tries to take away your Halloween spirit, shoot them in the face. You know, since every living being on this planet has an expiration date, including you, I came up with a plan. A plan that'll either land me an insane amount of prison time or a lot of candy. You see? I think I'm going to steal the candy away from children. But Saya, those kids are going to cry. What? Do you really think that I'm going to feel bad about this? After all, the great philosopher me once said, crying is just a sign of weakness, and also a really effective way to get attention. Look, I can't see how them crying is my problem. No, seriously, I can't see anymore. Please send help. 
Why the fuck should they have candy if I can't have any? It's not my fault society set me up for this. Only the strong survive, and clearly I'm the apex predator out here. And besides, what are those children gonna do? <laughs> Fight me? Please. And even if they tried to jump me, I could easily manage and take like 200 of them at the same time. <laughs> Wait. That sounded a lot better on paper. Just for the record, unlike most YouTubers over a certain threshold of subs, I did not mean that in a sexual way. I think this whole part just made me sound like a debilitated alcoholic with no self-control. You know, the funny thing about age is that it doesn't really define what you're allowed to do. We get so caught up thinking that we're too old for certain stuff, but the truth is, if something brings you joy, then who's to say that it's wrong? Whether it's dressing up for Halloween, playing video games, or indulging in whatever makes you happy, Life's too short to follow someone else's rules. And at the end of the day, do what makes you feel alive. I mean, take that 74-year-old ninja burglar. If he can sneak around Osaka's rooftop stealing shit, then why are we worrying about being too old for shit we like? So do me a favor and don't let anyone tell you that you're too old for the things you love. Whether it's candy, costumes, or just doing your own thing. Keep doing it. Because at the end of the day, it's not about how many years you've lived, but about how much life you're still willing to live. I'm <laughs> sorry.